on YouTube. I uh, stopped at a garage sale yesterday and I came across Milwaukee M18 fuel for the trail. Oldest impact. They were rusted up. They were in bad shape. Two M18 batteries and the charger, which is right here. The reason this man was selling these things. As he said the batteries wouldn't charge. I gave him 20 bucks for all of it. Thinking, well, nothing else. I go buy a couple batteries and, you know, I got a nice set of Milwaukee quarter stuff. Well, I got to thinking, got to looking at these batteries, and look, you push a button, nothing. So I made me a couple of jumper wires off my cigarette lighter in the truck and I hooked to one of them. I know y'all can't see that, but anyway, I shocked this one, stuck it on the charger, it started charging. Well, my little rig that I made quit working so I'm gonna try a little different experiment this morning I got two pieces of wire a red and a black and I'm gonna try shocking this other battery see if I can get it to work. I've done this with my Ryobi stuff a timer, you know, before. Gotten batteries and stuff that, that wouldn't charge. And I shocked them. And they started charging. So... We're going to try this. Got nothing to lose, right? If nothing else. Worst case scenario. I ruin the battery. Or batteries. Got $20 invested in it. You know. I can get some more batteries. The way I'm going to do this is on my red wire. I'm going to put a male and a female on this red wire. And I know I don't have the right size connectors, but you know what? I'm on the road. You use what you got. putting these on here there's my male there's my female that's on the, the red wire you don't have to use two different color wires just I did because I had them and on the black one 
to the negative jumper, we're going to put two males. but this battery says positive and negative. There's my other battery. So I'm gonna go negative to negative. positive, I'm going to put a fuse on it, and I'm going to go, which one is the good one, this one is the good one, this one is the one that I'm trying to jump. Instantly blew the fuse. Hang on. Okay, so I took the fuse out. I put a paper clip in there. We're going to slide that in there. Man, it's getting hot. My paper clip's getting hot. that cool off for a second. Alright, I'm going to shock it again. I'm getting a little smoke. So I'm moving current.
Now I'm gonna try it. See if it'll charge. that battery they were stored in the tools excuse me these batteries were stored in the tool and essentially what happened is they were run so far down that the chargers thought that they were just dead so I had to put a little bit of a little bit of juice in them to get them to charge. So, and I did one off off of the truck to get it started, and it don't take but just a second. You leave it on there for I left it on there for about a minute, and uh, I put enough charge in it to where the charger would start charging it, and then I used y'all saw what I did. I used the two batteries. To, to get them kick started there. Anyway, it was just a little experiment. This time it happened to work. Next time it may not. Uh, anyway, do it at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything. Just showing y'all what I did. Y'all have a good one. And as I always say, just bring it.